Main Scenario 3, Emergency Defense has ended. You've obtained a thousand coins as compensation. The main scenario, which was supposed to begin only after the sun had risen, actually started less than ten minutes after the third main scenario was over. The fourth main scenario is about to begin. Damn, how long has it been since the third scenario ended? I went straight to Li Jie. You take Yu Zhongok. Can I do that? You can't go downstairs now anyway. It'll be a problem for when he wakes up. Li Jie nodded as she looked at Yu Zhongok. Please inform me when he wakes up. I want to give him another hit in the back. I headed downstairs with Zhong Hiwon. I carried Li Gilong, who had completely fallen asleep after the meteor shower. The dungeon disappeared and it turned to an ordinary theater. The items in the reward room on the fifth floor were turned into ordinary stage props. It was as if everything that happened yesterday was a dream. Then Bi Hyung's voice was heard. Do you already know what I'm going to say? Yes. <sighs> I nearly fell down. I felt a little relieved as I listened to Bi Hyung's grumbles. The constellations were powerful, but they weren't omniscient. It was because all the sounds and images of the scenario were transmitted through the channel. Was it filtered properly? I was too excited that I said too much. Of course it was. Is there something wrong with my channel? That level of information is automatically filtered. If my thoughts were correct, the words I said to Yu Zhongo would be conveyed to the constellations in the following way. Do you really think so? Have you already forgotten the determination of your... attempt? Why are you alone? When you... like a fool in the... When you cried over your... When your loved one gave to up... Helping people and fighting against the damn... When you finally... Before the... In fact, I didn't know how much filtering there was. It might be more than this, but it wouldn't be weak. In the original work, Yu Zhongho experienced information being blocked this way at the beginning, even when information about regressors was spreading. The constellations didn't hear anything. Don't worry. The problem is that even I didn't hear much. You didn't hear it? That was a bit odd. The Dokubis also couldn't hear the information? Yes, that's right. What were you talking about? Information that even the Dokubis didn't know. I had one guess. Perhaps the constraints of probability had begun. I naturally came up with something from ways of survival. Probability is a great deterrent that controls the star stream. I was reminded of it, but didn't help me straight away. One of the reasons why ways of survival was ruined that was that there were too many settings that the writer didn't know well. What was the reaction among the constellations? They are fed up. It's still an uproar about what you were talking about. I guess so. The constellations experienced the filter, the movie suddenly changed into a silent movie. If they were smart, they should be paying attention to the possibilities I had. The fact that my words were filtered meant I knew information that shouldn't be revealed at the present time. A few constellations are watching you to explore your secrets. The constellation secret of plotters excited by your existence. 2,000 coins have been sponsored. I thought Bihong had forgotten. I received so many indirect messages that I didn't send them to you. Do you understand? Do so in the future. I only want messages about coins. Am I your manager? The figure of Bihong disappeared. I thought he was becoming cuter over time. One thing was finished in the other. Tokshishi, is it hard? I'll carry Gilyong. Uh, it would be appreciated. I handed Lee Gilyong to Jong Hyun. Her face looked somewhat serious. I hesitated for a moment before opening my mouth. Hyun Shi? Huh? What are you worried about? Jong Hyun hesitated for a bit before sighing. Okay. It isn't in my nature to keep it in. Indeed. Jong Hyun got directly to the point. What is Dokshi Shi's identity? Did you hear something earlier? A little bit. I thought she wouldn't hear it because we were quite far away. Unfortunately, she heard something. Zhong Hee-won was closer than Li Jihe, and no human-to-human -human filtering is possible. Li Gilyoung let out a loud snoring noise. I decided to be half honest. I know part of the future. Really? Yes. Zhong Hee-won thought about something for a while. Then Zhong Hee-won seemed to have decided that she bit her lips. Do Yu Sang and Li Hyung Song know? They don't know yet. I answered in earnest, and Zhong Hee-won stepped away from me with Li Gilyoung. Surely you aren't going to kill me. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? Normally a development like, you know too much about me, will occur. Where did this normal development come from? Somehow I seem like a bad person. I don't know what normal development is, but I would have already killed Hee Won Shi if I wanted to. Actually, that is a bit weird. I don't have bad thoughts. It's actually the opposite. The opposite? I looked into Jung Hee Won's eyes and said, The future scenarios will be more dangerous. You might almost die many times and might lose precious things. So? So, I looked into Zhang Hiwon's increasingly nervous eyes and said, Please stay with me from now on. What do you mean? It means to be my companion. It was time to make my people. Trustworthy people, who wouldn't easily betray me. Zhang Hiwon, who I helped awaken and could read her mind, was the most suitable talent. Zhang Hiwon looked blank for a moment. Dokcha Shi didn't consider me a companion before? It's actually the opposite. I'm not the one who doesn't think of you as a companion. 
Shung Hyun's eye shook. I deliberately took a step back. If you don't want to be companions, think of it as a deal. I need Hee Won Shi's strength, and my information will be helpful to Hee Won Shi. It is a give and take. The important thing is that our relationship won't change in the future. It is a bit abrupt. Do I have to answer now? No. For a person like Zhang Hee Won, a leisurely approach was better than a hasty and emotional one. In fact, Zhang Hee Won's expression wasn't bad. The character Zhang Hee Won is relieved at your honesty. The character Zhang Hee Won is seriously thinking about your proposal. Maybe it wouldn't be long. I had a big influence on Zhang Hiwen's awakening event, and my presence would be deeply stamped into her subconscious. Perhaps when this scenario was over, the second sponsorship selection would begin. Then Zhang Hiwen would gain a sponsor. The real power of Zhang Hiwen would be shown from then on. Can I ask you something? Yes. Do you know what I'm going to do in the future? I looked up. Wouldn't this be filtered? I also don't know. Huh? There's no Zhang Hiwen in the future that I know. What? That's why this deal is really necessary for Hiwen Shi. Zhong Hiwen's eyes widened. Zhong Hiwen wasn't in the original book. She was a variable that I raised directly. Her attribute was good enough, and if she got a proper sponsor, she would play a key role in changing future scenarios, especially if it fought against people with other variables that I didn't know. Then a loud noise was heard from downstairs. Think about it. Let's hurry. We descended to the platform where many people were putting pressure on a small group. I understood the situation. The Landlord Alliance. They were still like this? Where did the bastard Kim Dokcha go? Tell me quickly. Looking closer, I saw that the landlord alliance was harassing Lee Hyung Sung. I deliberately walked towards them and spoke in a loud voice. Yu Sung Ashi! Lee Hyung Sung Shi! You! An alliance member cried out as soon as I came down to the platform of Line 4. I saw a familiar landlord uncle. The evidence of a fierce battle remained on this bastard's body. At first glance, I could tell his overall stats had risen sharply. I liked it. Gong Pildu used armed zones in eight turrets rows. The alliance member centered around Gong Pildu looked at me. They didn't know the person who saved them. This jerk. The moment Gong Pildu was about to say something, there was an electric current in the air. The fourth main scenario will start in five minutes. Along with the system message, Dokkabi Bihyung appeared. Huh? Everyone, have you been well? People's expression stiffened at this nasty guy's face. It looks like you're all restless. What is it now? Of course I came because of the announcement of the fourth scenario. This is shit. Now, now, don't act like that. Don't you know I go after the first person who complains? The fourth main scenario has to do with other stations. A fairly exciting story is waiting for you. I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Everyone's complexions darkened as they heard about other stations. Chongmudo alone was this bad. It was obvious how much trouble there would be if other stations were involved. By the way, in order to proceed with this scenario, you have to perform another task first. It won't be a mess if the number of people increases. Therefore, you need a presence to lead you. In other words, there must be a station representative. Representative was finally starting. From now on, we'll play a skirmish. It could be called a warm-up game. The rules of this game, well, you'll see. The young smiled and disappeared, while a message window popped up in front of everyone. The sub scenario has arrived. Sub scenario, elect a representative. Category, sub. Difficulty, C. Clear conditions, take the white flag installed in the center of the platform. Time limit, 30 minutes. Compensation, 1,000 coins. Chungmuro's representative. The representative of the station can exercise strong control of the members. Before the message window fully popped up, Kong Pulu was already running to the flag in the center of the platform. He was truly like a ghost. Everyone get out of the way! Kong Pulu pushed people like a runaway locomotive and was in the lead to get the white flag. This couldn't happen. The moment his fingertips were about to reach the flag, I opened up my mouth. Kong Pulu down! Under the terms of the contract, command rights is activated. Wah! I stepped on the back of the collapse of Kong Pulu and took the white flag. You have pulled the white flag from the flagpole. You have become the representative of Chungmuro. You are qualified to walk the king's road.